everyone. In this video, we're going to look at all the different camera mounts for PTZ camera installation. We'll look at wall mounts, flush ceiling mounts, and pole mounts so that you can get the perfect PTZ camera installation. All this and more coming up next. start with the wall mount. This is the HCM1. This wall mount is available in either black or white, which is a very nice option so that you can get the correct mount to go with your wall color and camera color for a discrete kind of cohesive mounting uh, visual perspective for customers and for your spaces. These camera mounts have a quarter 20 slot in the middle. And what you'll notice is that each PTZ Optics camera at the bottom has a quarter 20 screw hole there. And that is what will secure the camera to the mount. Also important to note with these wall mounts is that there are cable path openings, whether you want the cables to go through the wall to plug into the camera or below and go underneath. Now, one of the nice designs about these wall mounts is that they have four screw ports and you'll notice that there is a little bit of leeway to perfectly level these mounts left and right and up and down as you secure this to the wall. Now, so looking at the hardware here, it's all explained in the manual, but essentially you'll get your quarter 20 screw. This connects to the camera to the mount. You will get your anchors. These anchors are used to secure the camera mount to the wall. You do need to drill the end of the wall, hit, tap these in with a little hammer, and then it's a, a nice kind of connection point for the screws. Of course, you'll have your screws for mounting, and some screws are meant for drilling in. Other screws are meant for securing to electrical boxes so that have threaded inputs for the screws, and then, of course, your washers. So all of this is included in the camera hardware, everything that you'll need, plus the manuals. So don't forget to read those as you're getting started. So when you are picking a location to mount your PTZ camera, one of the things you want to think about is the subjects that you're going to be recording. In this scenario here, you can see we're using a wall mount, but we've got the camera upside down. And this is a popular trend. It's, it's a really good idea because the PTZ cameras can actually pan further down in this way, and they can capture a wider view if you think the camera is going to be going up and down. Now, in this camera right here, we are at just about 59 inches to center. That's a decent space for eye level when people are on stage. But there are times when you're putting in a camera where people are sitting. That might be a little lower at 42. Let's take a look at a conference room space where you'd see that. So in this space here, we're in a conference room. This is a meeting space, and most people will be seated. So the PTZ camera here is coming in at around 51 inches. So what you want to do is you want to look at where people are sitting in the space. You want to sit them down and kind of get like an average. So like when I'm seated here, I'm just at about 51. So this camera is going to be eye level. Now, obviously, when you're in a stage environment, when you're at a church or a venue, things get a little different. So let's look at some of the cameras we have mounted in our venue and see the differences. So these are our main stage cameras. And one of the things you'll notice is we've got two PTC cameras fairly close together. And that is totally fine because you can have one camera zoomed in and one doing a wide shot from the same angle. And in fact, with the brand new PTZ Optics Move 4K cameras, you can set up each to have auto tracking, one to auto track a head and shoulders that's far, fairly zoomed in, and then a second camera to auto track maybe head, uh, head to toe or a wider angle, and you can cut between those two. Now, when we're getting a camera that's definitely gonna be tracking someone who's walking or standing up, we come a little higher, and right here we're at 66 inches from uh, the floor, 
And, you know, I've seen people go even higher up into the 70s. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is that you may have a large space. You may be limited to where you can mount these cameras. So if you're mounting a camera really high up, I definitely recommend inverting these mounts so that they're upside down. So that's what I'm going to actually do with this mount here. This is our Huddlecam HD HCM1. This mount has just a single Ethernet cable because we're using power over Ethernet to power our camera, to control our camera, and send NDI video out of this camera right here. So this cable has been pulled from the network switch all the way down with a cable fish. It's a, it's a metal fish cable that comes down and pulls the cable through and comes out right here. And we put a little, little bit of masking tape here to make it nice and nice and straight. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew these here to show you that there are uh, anchors. They are plastic anchors inside the drywall to make sure that this is secure. Okay, you can see it's very secure here. And I'm going to unscrew those, flip it, and show you uh, how that works. Also, you can see this is a USA-made US steel mount. You do want to get our recommended mounts because they are strong and they reduce the vibrations that can happen when you are fully zoomed in. If you have a mount that doesn't fit the PTZ Optics camera perfectly or has a lighter gauge steel, we've found that there are vibration issues. Now, speaking of vibrations, that's probably one of the most important things to think about when you're choosing a mounting location for your camera. You want to avoid subwoofers. You want to avoid walls that have HVAC units or anything that creates vibrations. Because if you're zooming in with 100 feet away with a 30X camera, even small vibrations can be noticeable in the video the more you zoom in. So use a high quality mount. Definitely use the anchors or try to hit a stud and avoid walls that have vibrations. All right, let's flip this mount. Okay, so this camera mount is for some seated folks at a, a couch here. So I do think this is the right move by lowering the mouth a little bit. This right here is what's called a quarter 20 screw, and it's got a little washer on it. All the hardware that you need is included with these mounts. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it started with my fingers here and then tighten it with a screwdriver. Beautiful. So now that is secured on to the mount, and I will plug the camera in. This single Ethernet connection will turn the camera on, so we'll see the camera turning on just like that. So that's a little bit about wall mounts. Let's take a look at some ceiling mounts. So sometimes you want the camera to be ceiling mounted, and these are our flush ceiling mounts here. There, it comes in two plates. One plate secures to the PTZ Optics camera. The other plate will secure to your mounting location, whether that is drop ceiling or drywall or a hard surface. These, these ceiling mounts have specific hole patterns to fit electrical boxes, and, and they come with all the hardware that you need. There is an entire video on how to mount these cameras to the ceiling, so we're going to link to that in the description below. What I want to tell you with this is to always bench test your PTZ cameras before mounting them in a tough-to-get location. We have a video on bench testing your PTZ cameras that could save you a lot of time. Let's take a look at the unique shots that these cameras are capable of getting. So once you've connected your camera to the network, it's very easy to find it and get to this web UI. All you need to do is type in ptzoptics.local forward slash, and this web UI will come up. Now, this is our ceiling camera. You can see we've named it ceilingcamera.local, which is a, a very easy way if you have multiple cameras to give them unique addresses here. If we go to ceilingcamera.local, it'll take us to the login page of this camera and I'll type in admin admin, which are the default username and password to get in. Now I wanted to show really quickly some of the very unique shots you can get with the ceiling camera. You can see here, it's kind of small, make it large. Um, you can full screen the video here. Uh, you can get these overhead shots. So whether you're zooming in on a document, doing a live presentation, showing off different products and things of that nature, 
These ceiling cameras are great for that. So one thing you'll notice with PTZ Optics cameras, our brand new Move 4K 30X camera is significantly bigger than all of the camera models we've manufactured in the past. That's because to get a 4K 30X lens capable of zooming into a head and shoulder shot from up to 75 feet away, right? It, it requires a large lens to do this. This is a very powerful camera. It can auto track subjects up to 300 feet away. So this camera is quite bigger than these smaller ones. And, and why I mention that is because it doesn't fit on the standard HCM-1 mount. We have a brand new mount for these and there, it comes in ceiling mounts and wall mounts. I'll link to the description of this below, but you'll see it fits perfectly on the bottom. It's designed for this 30X camera. This is the ceiling mount here. You can see which comes in two pieces. One piece secures to the ceiling, one piece secures to the camera, and they slide in together to lock, and there's some locking screws here, which is all explained in the manual. If you are mounting a ceiling-mounted PTZ Optics camera, check out the links below. We have a video on all the safety precautions and things that you can, should consider when mounting a ceiling camera. So that goes for wall mounts and ceiling mounts, the PTZ Optics, 30X cameras are much larger than the 20X and 12X cameras, except for the Move SE 30X, which is normal size. All right, now there's one last mount that we need to cover, which is a pole mount. These are really, really nice for certain scenarios. What a pole mount allows you to do is to securely mount a pole. It's a one inch threaded pipe that can come down from specific locations and allow you to get a really nice height for your camera shots. So this uh, one inch threaded pipe can be purchased at Home Depot or a hardware store. And then you can get an attachment to a ceiling that will take a very nice and smooth camera uh, feed down for installation. You can run your cables down that pipe and they can come out here and come smoothly through the connection points here. So this is a pole mount. You'll see this as well on our website. This is a really nice option. Now I want to show you guys a couple other edge cases for mounting PTZ cameras in a sec. Now this camera mount here is from DotWorks. It's the DotWorks D2 enclosure. This was outdoors for about four or five years. You can see the PTZ Optics camera is mounted inside. This is IP76 rated. Don't quote me on that, but it is outdoor rated. And it can actually be, it can actually include a heater and blower. You can include a wireless router inside. So you can have cellular data in these. Um, it has a weather tight connection point for your ethernet for your power, for your SDI cables that can go in the sides. And it can also be pole mounted. So it comes with a piece of hardware here with some U-bolts so that you can mount this to a pole. There's more information on this and an installation guide on our website. Sometimes you just wanna have a vandal proof setup for your indoor basketball court. Other times you wanna put these cameras permanently mounted outdoors at a sporting field. That's what this is for. Now this video wouldn't be complete if we didn't talk about tripods and speaker stands. This right here is a speaker stand. Speaker stands can generally get taller than tripods. Tripods are generally you know, used for photography, not always live streaming, although a lot of us use tripods with our PTZ cameras. If you have a speaker stand, you can generally get six to eight feet up and they're heavy duty. You can get a quarter 20 attachment for your tripod stand and you can get the cameras up high above the audience, above you know, things that might be obstructing your view with the PTZ camera. So speaker stands, tripods are also very popular and you can run the cables directly to these and control your cameras remotely. All right, well, that's it. Let me know how you have your PTZ cameras mounted in your space, whether you're doing a wall mount, a ceiling mount, a pole mount, or just rocking some tripods or speaker stands. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe and join our Facebook user group to see what thousands of other PTZ camera users are doing. 
Uh, it's a really helpful team of people and great people who we work with just like you. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.